Recently, President Obama made news by announcing that his team would find $100 million worth of federal spending that they can cut from the budget. Some people are saying that the president is just taking a number that sounds big so that it'll look like he's doing something about federal spending. We humans have a problem with big numbers. We hear that the president is taking $100 million out of a $3.5 trillion budget, but what we understand is the president is taking a big pile of money out of a bigger pile of money. We don't get the concept of scale very well when we're dealing with that kind of money. And I think we can understand better. Let's stack five pennies together and say that this represents $2 billion. This is the federal budget, about $100 in pennies. Well, just a little under 90 after I take out the leafy pennies and the ones for my birth year and the pennies with the Queen of England on them. I think it's a Canadian conspiracy to ruin our monetary system. To the left of the white line is mandatory spending. Before we can fix a single road or build a bridge or pay a soldier, we have to spend this money. It's mainly Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid. President Obama couldn't cut spending from there even if he wanted to. To the right of the white line is the only part of the budget he can reduce. To the left of the blue line is money we have. To the right of the blue line is money we don't have, so we have to borrow it. We'd obviously like to reduce the number of pennies on the right side of the blue line if we can. Here's what President Obama says he's going to do. We'll just grab that penny there. Then we take three quarters of our penny, and we put it back on the budget, and the president's team is going to take 90 days to find some way to take this out of that. And suddenly, $100 million doesn't seem as big to me as when he said it in the press conference.